Yep. Hi, this is Stefan Bowen, and I'm with Bay Jiu Jitsu, and today we're gonna have a kind of a mellow uh, mobility workout, but it's uh, just as important as getting strong. Uh, I've been doing these kind of sequences for over 20 years, and it's kind of kept me in the game for a long time. Uh, I do that every time before I train and before I do anything physical. Uh, so I'll start at the top with a uh, top to bottom, um, kind of like a um, warm up systems check, so to speak. Then we'll kind of get on the ground, we'll do some mobility stuff with our hips for umoplatas, and just kind of get those hips and knees and ankles in awkward positions. And then we'll kind of go upside down inversions, really kind of getting uh, warmed up that way. And um, then there's a hip movement drill called figure eights. It's kind of a shrimp variation that Garth Tater taught me over 20 years ago, which I love. And then we're going to end with a, a new one to my uh, my uh, repertoire, which is just a bar hang. It's simply a bar hang for about a minute, and uh, it's done wonders for keeping my shoulder, all those tiny little um, I don't even know their muscles, tendons, kind of just holding my my shoulder in place because I have you know forever has been plagued with shoulder problems, and this more than anything else has helped out. Thanks, Garrett. All right, so here we go. Um, so I'm going to do it for one minute each and just kind of keep us in line as a five minute routine. There's going to be a 30 second break in between where I'm going to kind of show movements. So here we go, just kind of follow along. All right, up and down your neck, chin to shoulder. I do half circles in front. I don't like to go all the way back. I have actually, when I go all the way back, sometimes if I'm not warmed up yet, I'll kind of like sprain something in my neck. Shoulders back, forward circles vigorously and forwards now loosen those arms let them hit your chest and lower back hip circles about three or four or five or ten in both directions depending on how much time you have knee circles both directions and then ankle circles both directions and that is tried and true. I've been doing that forever. Just to kind of get things going. Okay? So we'll drop the ground. And we're just gonna start with this position right here. Just kind of like move my hips side to side. A lot of beginners that come in have trouble with these movements. Then we'll kind of get to some more advanced stuff. Um, one I like is this kind of double nine position where my knees, both knees are at right angles. Okay, so I'll be doing some stuff like that, and I'll be doing some kind of movement like this. So let's get started. All right, here we go. We'll do this for 10 seconds. Just side to side. I'll drop on my back and do some egg beaters. Both directions. I'll give them in a double nine position. I'll lean forward over my shin, sideways over this shin, forward over the shin. Sideways over the shin. Now switch, try not to use my hands on the ground. Forward over the shin, sideways over that shin. Okay, now I'm gonna get more dynamic all the way to the back. All the way to the back. Next one, you're on bolos. If you're new to this, you're inflexible, just work on this, one upside down, and hanging, okay? Once you can kind of do that, and you don't even need to have the toes touch the floor, don't push it, okay? When you go, you can kind of like bring your head to the side and you're laying on your shins, okay? So again, go to my back, I can hang. Okay, so I bring my head to one side or the other and let my shins go to the floor. So if you can reverse that, that'd be the next step. So I put my shoulder on the floor, I go upside down to a hanging position. Okay, shins on the floor, reverse that to a hanging position. Shins on the 
floor. Knee all the way around. Shoulder on the floor. Knee position. Shins on the floor. So I'm going over the tops of my shoulders one more time. Shoulder, shoulder, shin, shin. Cool. Okay, next one is movement called figure eights. That works. Do one leg on the outside up. It's gonna go all the way over. Bam, it's gonna anchor to the floor like glue. This one's gonna kinda kick into gear. It's gonna go under. Then it's gonna go up and I'm gonna switch to the other hip and really focus on stretching, okay? Almost do the side like splits like this. Okay, under, up, switch, and reach as far as you can. I'm trying to go from mat to mat. You can really cover some ground here. Stretch. Reach, reach. than we're used to, isn't it? All right, see you tomorrow for the next day in shelter in place. I think it's 38, so tune in. <laughs>